Hi everyone, welcome to another Armour 3 tutorial. This one's in response to a question from Zach Horn, and sorry Zach for the slow reply, but I did get there in the end, being pretty busy. Um, and he asks, I was wondering how to give different players different triggers and objectives. So I'm assuming you mean this guy and his squad have separate tasks from another squad and they can't sort of see each other's tasks. So if that's what you mean, this is going to help you out. If not, uh, just clarify for me. Okay, so I've got a playable unit and I want to give this guy and his squad a task. So I'm going to go to systems, create task, place that down. And I'm going to grab a set task state and I'm going to place that down. So let's go into the task. And in the task or the create task module, we need to have groups of synchronized objects selected, which is the default. So I'm just going to put in there T1 for task one, and let's call it move over here. And I'm going to set that to assigned, and you can change the icon if you like to move or whatever you like. Now, the most important part about this and achieving this is I'm going to right click on the create task module, connect and sync to this guy. Now if I had uh, a bunch of guys, so if I had another few guys here in the squad, I would also right click and sync to the task. So the task is now assigned to these three players, not to anyone else. Whoops. So I'll take those guys out for the purposes of this demonstration. Okay, so that task only works for this guy. Okay, now I'm going to go into the set task state module, double click that and set it at succeeded. And I'm going to sync that by right clicking connect and sync to the create task module. So there we've got our tasks. Now I'm going to put down a couple of triggers that's going to help us out with this. Firstly, I'm going to place the trigger and I'm going to resize it slightly just by pressing the space bar four times and it gives you the option to resize in the 3D editor and I'm going to give well I have given this guy a variable name of S1 you can use whatever variable you like and in here I'm going to put in the trigger condition S1 in area this trigger and I'm going to set the activation type as any player present and click OK. Then I'm going to right click the trigger, go to connect, sync to the task. And I need a now uh, a trigger to complete the task. So again, I'm going to place one of the smaller triggers and I'm just going to resize it a little so it's not huge. And I'm going to place the task, create task module inside the trigger. And I'm going to go back into this trigger and select any player present. And again, S1 in area, this trigger. Okay. And I'm going to sync that trigger by right click, connect and sync to the set task state module. So what I've done is the task is specific only to this playable unit. The trigger can only be fired by this playable unit. This trigger can only be fired by this playable unit. And if anyone else, any other players walk into that trigger, uh, nothing will happen, they will not fire the trigger they will not get a task created nothing will happen for them so what I'm also going to do is just quickly place down a small camping table so I know that I'm in the trigger area and I'll show you how that works so I'm using the playable unit with the variable name of s1 and I'll enter the trigger and there's the task and then I'll get over to where the table is where the trigger to complete the task is and there the task is completed 
Now to show you that this works, I've placed another uh, unit here and I've made this the player. And this unit does not have the variable name of S1. So he's not going to trigger this trigger when he enters it and he won't see the task and nothing will happen. And I'll show you how that works. Now remembering the trigger is right in front of where I am and the task is set to this guy, but not to me. So if I enter the trigger, nothing will happen. So there's no trigger firing, there's no task, there's no complete task, there's nothing because the variable name for activating the trigger is with that guy and not with me. So absolutely nothing at all happens. So that task is assigned only to that player and any other players synced to that task. And what I've done here is I've placed down uh, another task set exactly like this one. And I've given this player the variable name of S2. I've set the trigger as any player present condition this Actually, that's not correct. I'll take that out and I'll put that in there. So S2 in area this trigger. And again, here, I'm going to take that out, place that because that's not correct. There we go. So I've got a task which is synced to this guy. The trigger to end the task, the trigger to fire the task, the set task state which is synced to the create task module and a table to show that uh, this guy where the task ends. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll go in and I've set this guy, he's AI at the moment, I've set him so that he won't move until I fire a trigger to show you that when he enters those triggers, um, I won't see any tasks for his group because they're synced to him and any player that would be in his group as well. So there's that guy over there. He's not moving at the moment. I'm going to fire my task by walking into the trigger. And the task now completes. Now I get this guy to move. And upon entering that trigger, which he already has, I haven't got a task displayed. Nothing at all for me and my squad only for him and his squad and we'll get him to the trigger and he's walked into the trigger and nothing has happened for me but for his squad he would have received the task been given the location and once they reach there the task will complete what i've now done to demonstrate this does actually work is i've made this guy with a variable name of s2 the playable unit. So I'm going to be playing that guy and I've made this guy the AI unit and we know that he has a trigger uh, to trigger a task and to complete the task. We also know that this guy has a trigger and I'll just take those move waypoints out because I don't need those anymore. So we know that this guy when he moves forward will trigger this trigger which will assign him a task and I'll get this guy to move when I've completed this task to show you that I won't receive any notification at all about this task set over here. So I'm moving into the trigger for my squad and there's the task and I'm going to run over here. The task is completed. I'll get the other guy to move. And you'll see that I'm not getting any task notification at all because the task and the triggers relate only to his squad. So the task is synced to him and his squad and the trigger will only fire when that particular variable name is present in that trigger. Another way you can do this that uh, is a little bit simpler instead of using variable names is you can just put down a trigger, it doesn't need to be any size and just have the condition set to true and i've put a delay of five seconds on here so that task will 
uh, be generated for this guy and his squad after five seconds. And I'll show you how that works. So we've got a bit of a delay and there's the task and I'm going to run over here. And now to show you that that will work for just the tasks for that squad, I've made myself uh, this guy as the playable unit and knowing that that trigger will fire when the mission starts regardless of who is in it or who is around it to assign this task to that squad I'll show you that even that is the even though that is the case me as the playable unit will not see this task because it is synced to this group here so I'm in the mission and I know that that task is about to fire for that squad over there but I will not see it at all and it would have fired by now because I am not part of that squad and I am not synced to that particular task. So just a quick recap, the most important things you need to know to assign uh, tasks only to um, your squad or a particular squad is to make sure that you sync the create task module all right to only the members of the squad and ensure that groups of synchronized objects is being used in the create task so this task only relates to him you can have a trigger that a variable name can enter to fire or you can simply have a trigger with a true condition and the task will fire and it will only be seen, this task will only be seen by this squad and this task here will only be seen by this squad. Uh, I hope that has answered your question, Zach. I hope it wasn't confusing. I hope it was easy to follow. If you do have any further questions, please ask in the comments section below. Come visit us on our Discord. I will be exporting this mission uh, into a folder. I'll zip it up and add it as a downloadable mission for you. So you can open it in the editor and have a bit of a look at it. It is uh, vanilla. There's no mods required except for Eden Enhanced and community-based add-ons or CBA. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.